This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. It seems like everyone right now is searching for the next Facebook, a website that can grow into a multi-billion dollar property. Well, my next guest believes he might just have a winning concept, a social network that's built on revenue sharing and referrals. Darren Maiman is the chief executive of this unusual website. It's called People String, and he's here to tell us more about the revenue sharing plan. Darren, good to have you with us on Taking Stock. Oh, it's great to be here. What, what is People, People String? I mean, how does this work? Because it, it's described as being almost like a portal, one place where you can do all of your social media experience. Right. Well, People String is a social network that allows you to bring together all your social connections and also your favorite web content and into one place and you could view it quickly you know you could see what's going on on Facebook and Twitter and your other favorite sites but then we do something very differently that you know no one that we see is doing out there we're sharing our revenue with people we're allowing people to string together to help people to become a, uh, a financial portal as well you know harnessing their buying power on the web so what would be an example of something like this if, if you have a Twitter account or a Facebook account and maybe you have email that comes from Google you can put this all on one page and you can uh, aggregate it? Yeah, you can put all one page, you could create tabs, uh, like different content, like you want to see all your news or your financial data coming in. And we have something called Instaportal, which is proprietary technology to people string. It allows you to grab the exact slices of the pieces of uh, the websites that are your favorite and put it on your own homepage. And they update every few minutes, so it's like watching you know, 10 TVs at once. So you can see what's going on, preview the page, and then go out to see it. So like having a personal dashboard for the internet. Exactly. It's a perfect way to put it. So how do you actually get paid? I mean, is this just an incentive to get other people to sign up to use PeopleString? How do they continue to get paid? Well, it's funny. We're, we're very valuable to everyone. The consumer, everyone's trying to reach us. And there's all these people that make a lot of money trying to reach us. Well, here we you are. You mean us, meaning the consumer? The consumer, the web user. You know, when ads show or you uh, try a new game or a Facebook app, you know, there are companies making tons of money off of us. What we do is say, hey, you know, we're right here. Anything you want to know about us, we could tell you. When I deal with us direct, and I'll tell my friends about it, and when I tell them, and it, it's free to join people. People string, but you know, I get a little something for passing it along. Why should we pass along all these great deals and offers for companies for just them to profit when people string is stringing people together, kind of getting paid to do what you're doing anyway? So, do the people enter their personal information in people string that would then be transmitted to the advertiser? Well, what you do is you, you join PeopleString. It's uh, almost no personal information to sign up. And you may take surveys and target yourself. And as ads normally would appear as your own websites and going places, you, you're sharing in the revenue that you're help generating. So it's, it doesn't change your web experience, except you're getting this cool technology, bringing everything together and making it easier for you. And that's where the ad revenue is generated from. Now, how do they get the revenue? I mean, do you send people a check? Do they get a credit? I mean, or is there a coupon how does it work well uh, we collect the money you have an account when you hit twenty five dollars we send it out uh, last year we paid out over a million dollars actually paid out to our members now is this because you're willing to take less of a cut because it seems as though the advertisers if they're going to be paying for the clicks that people make when they go to the particular site they don't necessarily care. They're going to pay one rate, whether it's people string or whether it's Facebook or whether it's something else based on some kind of demographic or based on how many impressions. So is it because you've got a lower cost model that allows you to then transfer some of this revenue to the user? Well, if you think of it, we're very efficient. We don't have to spend money on marketing. Our members are marketing, you know, they're bringing in the new members. So we're sharing our revenue. You know, it's very low, very high margin business for us. You know, we're running servers. People are out telling people. They're telling people when something new is out there. But when you think about where this really could go as you're bringing all these people together, yeah, it's Super Bowl Sunday coming up this weekend, right? Uh, people going to, to parties or planning a party for themselves. Can you imagine the power in the, a little bit down the road if everyone could kind of aggregate the buying power together? Say, hey, well, we need chips this weekend. And, and there's certainly going to be a lot of them. All right, I'm going to thank you very much, Darren Myman, the uh, chief executive of a PeopleString. We'll look you up online.